Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. Today the topic of our discussion is humoral immunity pathway 2 that is B cell T helper cell mediated pathway or B cell as antigen presenting cell. We have discussed a pathway 1 that is the B cell independent pathway in the last video. So this is a pathway that is mediated by T helper cells. Humoral immune response, it is a host defense mechanism that are mediated by antibodies produced by plasma cells of B cells in tissue fluids, lymphs, etc. and that helps in protecting against extracellular pathogen and also foreign macromolecules. Now moving into the detail, step 1 that is a B cell activation. So this is a naive B cell, it is having a B cell receptor. A naive B cell is a B cell that hasn't encountered an antigen before. As this B cell is a nucleated cell, it is having MHC class 1 receptor and it is also having MHC class 2 receptor as this B cell is also an antigen presenting cell. And we have discussed the difference between MHC class 1 and class 2 in our last in our previous videos. Now this is another B cell, this is B cell 2, which is having a different specificity. There are numerous B cells inside the system with different specificity that is directed against different pathogens or different epitopes of pathogens. So suppose this is a viral particle, this viral particle has bound to the B cell receptor. This causes the activation of B cell receptor 1. B cell activation, that is the antigen binding to B cell receptor causes the activation of this B cell. Some of the antigenic particle or viral particle are engulfed by the B cell. In this pathway, this B cell acts as an antigen presenting cell. This engulfed viral particle will be degraded and it will be presented on MHC class 2. You can see right here, this is presented on MHC class 2. T helper cells, the commander of the immune system, can recognize this MHC class 2 bound antigenic peptide. These T helper cells will secrete numerous chemical messengers like interleukins, chemokines, etc. that will activate this particular B cell and enhanced activation occurs in this T helper cell mediated pathway. So this is what is happening. Here the B cell is acting as an antigen presenting cell and this pathogen is degraded and that is bound to MHC class 2. MHC class 2 bound antigenic peptide binds to T cell receptor. This is a T cell receptor. The helper cells activates the B cells by secreting chemical messengers. Upon activation, this particular clone of cell is selected to divide and the process is called as a clonal selection that is followed by differentiation into plasma cells and memory cells. And these are the plasma cells. Then this is a memory, memory B cell and this plasma cell will synthesize antibodies, millions of antibodies, 2000 per second approximately and numerous antibodies will be secreted and released into the bloodstream that will directly interact with the pathogen. Now the pathogens in the bloodstream that will be coated by these particular antibodies and once an antibody bounded antigen that's, that will be soon cleared out from the system by other immune cells like macrophages, monocytes, etc. And this memory B cells, the role of memory B cells is immunologic memory or secondary response. If the same pathogen comes for the second time, this memory B cell will recognize the pathogen easily and induce a heightened immune response that will ultimately clear out the pathogen at the earliest. So this is a summary. First of all, the B cell activation, that is the antigen binding to the B cell receptor. In this pathway, this B cell acts as an antigen presenting cell. This antigenic particle are degraded inside the B cell and is presented on MHC class 2 to T helper cells. T helper cell, this TCR or T helper cell receptor will recognize antigenic peptide that is bound to MHC class 2. And this activates the B cell in an enhanced manner that causes division and differentiation of this particular B cell. And this B cell will synthesize plasma cell and memory B cell and these plasma cells are responsible for antibody production whereas memory B cells are responsible for immunologic memory, a typical quality of adaptive immune response. Hope you got the point. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforay.com.